What's up guys, you know what it is, no need for introduction, Emily the Messi, number 5. Before the audio problems happen again, I remember to move my phone. Worst current ability, no shock once again, still about and you're actually wanted by Man City or Liverpool mate. At least you've got something to look forward to. In the near future, pretty underwhelming season for striker though. Not compared to friendlies and under 21s, very good. But very much underachieved compared to last year. Let's get a bit of championship. Barnsley are now, I don't think they did anything. They got relegated. Swansea. Uh, you know, you might not know I'm a Swansea fan. Uh, some of you. But Swansea. Thank the Lord, now back. Uh, back in the Premier League. Which I'm glad of. So Chubby, you know, at least you wanted by someone. And you're not going to win under Chief of the episode once again. Morgan Kendall after someone pointed out that there was no point of a rule change. I didn't do the rule change. And a very good season for me once again and no complaints. Uh, if you want me to look more in detail, there's your sort of stats for non-league appearances. At 19 years old now. Now you're gonna see it start. Oh, 18 for you, but you know, soon we're gonna start seeing a bit of potential. You know, I'm still 18, but that's been the point. I should move on to Jack Ladman. S Scotland. He's played a fair amount of cast Scotland. Remember, he started with the 80s, so I think he's made 11 apps for Scotland. Scotland struggling a bit though. I just want to go check the European Championships just to see if any of us like. Sort of Inf influence anything. Of course, you know, profile stages. Uh, why can't I find something? Right. How did Wales do? More importantly, I know a lot of us. Did they even make it? No, Israel. No, no, they definitely did not make it to that. France won in 2016. Shame they couldn't do it in real life. I expected them to. So we move on to Harry Jones. Uh, not as bad as last season. At least he's made some appearances. He made a couple. No, he made no international games for France. I think he did make one or two down the line. Did he? Has Harry ever played for France? I don't know. I'm trying to find. No, he's never played for France. He played under 21 level. But that's it. We move on. To a boy who I feel sincerely sorry for. He's not going to win underachiever of the episode. But he's not going to win player. Either. Because uh, he doesn't do much. Uh, he started his career at Rangers, yeah. Didn't do anything, went to Man United. And has not played once for the first team. But 2.9 million here. And the achiever of the episode is coming your way soon. I think. Jonathan Kolak. Bad idea, the Scots. The Scots, one of you know, some of them are doing alright. And some of them just are not. Is Jonathan Kolak in the current team? Not as far as I can see. Zach Oliver Key. Just see, have I not got him on my shortlist? Well, there we go. He's on my shortlist now. The only current one in the Scottish team there. Uh, he's got two apps, John. John Cole up Chelsea. Done very poorly. So, oh, and the achiever of the episode goes to... Kaz. What? Why do they check people's arms and legs again? Like Knives and stuff. In case they've got any blades or things that are concealed. Right, so under achiever of the episode goes to... Oh, Jonathan Kolak. I had to put that discreetly, didn't I? John, I'm sorry, but but uh, I don't think I'm going to change my mind unless anything really big comes along. Move on to Dickie Dixon. Didn't have the best of seasons at Aston Villa. Played barely any under 21s. Not going to win player of the episode today. I have two players in mind that I think could win it. But not Dickie Dixon. His value is huge. But he's just not that good. Move on to Mark Bullock. 
was loan listed. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's that really. Mark Bullock is loan listed. Did him um, what? How would they have knives on their bare arms? They wouldn't. They'd have in the short. So guys, I'm just explaining something. Right, they did nothing for Castilla, the B team really. Very poor. Sort of, he started with eleven caps for his country, didn't he? Mark did. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a lot more caps because you know Burkina Faso. I'm not sure to an extent how far you can say that actually got him. <coughs> if you look, this is where he started his career. He got bought by Real Madrid for three hundred twenty-five thousand. Named the Rex his best eleven, but that's about it. But he's not going to win player of the episode, and he's not going to win under achiever of the episode either. Let's go back to Joe Davis now. Minor interest from Tottenham. Fairly decent season. No, I wasn't that good actually. But you know he did well in under twenty ones and pff, I don't know. That's just not that good, is it? No, it's not. But you know he did all right. He did concede at least one every ninety minutes. I said there on you know on paper. So you know we move on. It's not the end of the world. We move on to Keelan Davis, who is currently on loan at Newcastle. I'm Jonathan Kolak. He's a rival for underachiever this season with you, mate. But he's not going to win it because you know he did score five goals. I can give him that. But you know he doesn't look like he's ever going to play for Man City. It's just my opinion. Someone who could win Player of the Episode, uh, but is not going to, is my brother. This is Zenit. 17.25 million on loan from Paris Saint Man. Did he really do anything? Yeah, yeah, he did quite well actually. Hmm, broke Zenit record for league goals, but you know. He was not brilliant. Actually, you know, he's a contender. I'll keep him as a contender for player of the season. Brachan Evans. Played for Swansea actually. Played played on loan at Swansea. Did nothing. Hmm. That's a big waste of money. Robin Morgan played almost all season for Man United. Was fairly solid. But didn't do much apart from that. His tackling was good. But you know, I don't know. I just can't see that. Uh, I am also wanted. I need a big transfer soon, hopefully. Uh you know, no. I'm actually a key player for Leicester City. I do play Cam for Leicester City, actually, I checked. I got Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, and Man United wanting me. Funny, because Man City released me on a free side. So I sincerely hope my guy, you know, won't be going there. Played 38 games for Leicester. Every league game I played it. That's a good thing for me. Average in 6.59, but, you know, from a Cam, I'm fairly happy, you know. My dribbling, my shots on target were very good. And uh, really, my goals was okay. What you expect from a cam, really? Don't expect too many goals. And the man who played almost every game for Dortmund somehow, Victor Nielsen, is smashing us all. Look at this. Look at the stats. He's so good. He's got slightly more than me in the league. Not slightly, a fair bit, but you know. Uh, not going to be player of the episode. I think I'm in contention for player of the episode, but I'm going to give it to my brother. I'm not biased when you break a goal scoring record, you know, and so on. That's quite a good sort of thing to say you did. Uh, did I do? Oh, yes, I was named in. Uh... Oh, hang on. Young player of the year. Bloody hell, Brahan, me, and Keelan came f first, second, and third. Brahan came last year as so well, Morgan Kendall. You know, runner up for me. What did I do else? Leicester's best 11. Playing a cam there in Leicester's best 11. And also, um, Leicester overall best 11. <coughs> That's ever, I think, is it? <coughs> that is actually their best team ever, and now I'm included in it. So actually, I'm going to give a joint player of the episode. I'll give it to me. My brother, Robin and Victor Nielsen, four player of the episodes today. Congratulations to all three of you on me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please join me next time.
Hey, what's up, guys? No need for introduction. This is Emily de Messi, episode 6. And of course, we've got to start today with the worst current ability. Let's go find him a second. Dylan Bowden. Here he is on loan at Brentford. On loan from Liverpool. Let's go to his career stats here. Oh, I clicked on the Wales national team. <laughs> so in the current team is Joe Davis, uh, me, as you can see me below. I don't want to give too much away even my last appearances, so please don't look at them quite yet. Um, yeah, you can see some of my records there. Joe Davis in the first team. Uh, I was going to say is Ash Taylor, one of our players, but he's not. Uh, Niall McGinn, long story. I changed him to Welsh, I overall chubby over him. And then uh, forgot to put him back. So there's me, there's... Uh, I'm trying to see any more. Brachan Evans is in there. Here he is. With £28 million now. With 20 caps, 3 goals. I think I can see Morgan Kendall and Dylan Bowden. Yeah, here's Morgan Kendall. I know from Tottenham. Uh, Dylan Bowden on the bench. Uh, I can't see any more. Can I? No, I don't think so. Okay, uh, and then to something else, but yeah. Right, so Dylan Bowden, let's go to his career stats. This year he got 10 apps, 3 goals, 1 assist. It's not the best, is it? 3.3 million. But I don't know, there's something about it. I don't know. He played half decent for Brentford, is what I'm trying to say. So I don't want to give him an underachiever of the episode. Didn't do that well for Liverpool. Um, should do move up there. To see uh, his stats from this year, if you want to go more in depth, Chubbs, you know, you're welcome to look at uh, sort of what you're doing. Uh, so, look at the key players here actually. Brachan Evans, Monken and me, and Keelan in there. Uh, very good, that is. So, congratulations to um, me, uh, Monken, uh, Keelan, and Brachan. So, congratulations to all of us. So, we're 36 in the world now. Uh, and Keelan, sorry. So, if I named someone that's not actually there. Sorry. We move on to Zach Olovicki. I had him in a couple of episodes. Forgot to put him on the short list. And, I don't know. Something about him. He did not do well. He got 6.5 rated. Uh, remember his career started at Toulouse. No, don't like think he started in the Turkish League. He didn't. That was a very bad season. Move on to Morgan Kendall now. Uh, we've got 32 apps. Two goals. Plays for Tottenham. Finding the move. He played one, two, three, four years at Moldovia. So, you know, he finally got that move to the Premier League. Uh, I think it was 1.2 million to Tottenham there. Uh, 32 apps, as you can see, the season. Very good seasons. Keelan. <sighs> He's played no games. As I said, I'm not really looking at the end of 21s anymore. So, Keelan's played zero games. So that is very bad for, like, a sort of whatever the fee he was paid for him was. Um, I think that's 1.5 million, I can't see the best, but there, uh, so yeah, it's not very good, they paid 1.5 million for him, to not make any appearances, that's sort of like dumping on Man City's head, I suppose, uh, so I think we're going to move on here to Harry Jones, plays for Everton now, got a 10.5 million move away from Terek, uh, in the Russian First Division, um, yeah, he's not being good. For a striker, that's embarrassing. 30 up, 6 goals. Not very good for Wheel. Uh, not very good for Everton there. And definitely not worth the 10.5 million that they paid for him. Jonathan Kolak, another basic player. Not sure if he still watches the series, of course. Uh, 5 ups for Chelsea this year. Not looking under 21s. 3 characters for Scotland. Uh. Nothing much more I can say, but for centre mid, you know, he didn't do too bad. Mm, I don't know. I think he wants. I think he needs to move away from Chelsea. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we do move on to Mark Bullock. Who, you know, I said was a front runner for this, and I don't think he is anymore. And I don't. I don't. You know, I don't like saying that. Seven apps. Seven. This is the problem with all the big clubs. He started at Wrexham, you know, and he sort of moved up on in the world. I don't know if it's ruined his career or not. So I can't tell. If you want to stop and have a look at more in detail. Move on to Brocken Davis. Yeah, he's unhappy at PSG. He uh, plays an advanced forward. Uh, 
eight go uh, eight deaths, five goals for PSG. He's done fairly decent. They're definitely not going to win under achieve. Well, lose under achieve in the episode. Saturday for Cody. And that was about it. Really, nothing else to note. Uh, any achievements? Yes, you're named in Paris Saint Germain season the best eleven. Just click on that second. No, it's been a bit unresponsive. Uh, did you get anything else? No. Okay, it took a while to load that. He's on the bench, is he? Hmm. Well, that is strange. Uh, seasonal best 11, I said, okay. He must be there somewhere. He must have done something. Here's Morgan next. Um, he is wanted by Tottenham, that's my interest, so I uh, doubt anything will come from that. Uh, his career stats. Uh, uh, you know he's got one goal, one up, three goals, and you know, three point one million move to Man United. He's a big contender for uh, underachieve the episode. We move on to Dicky and Dick Dog Sun eighteen. Uh, apps thirty eight goals thirteen. And I don't have much to say about Dickie Dixon, to be honest. He's wanted by Southampton, that's minor interest. Valued at £31 million now. So let's see what comes of that. Uh, sorry, I've got to move on because I only have 10 minutes to record with. Uh, we move on to Jack Gladman. 27 apps for Arsenal. Good move, I think, for him. They buy £75 million worth. I'm retired, as you can tell. So yeah, uh, not much. He's got a few apps for Scotland. Uh, has he got any achievements as Scoreblock? He won the Champions Cup with Arsenal, that's good. But he's also named in the seasonal best 11 for Scotland. I don't see anyone else in there. So congratulations to Jack Gladman on that one. Uh, move on to Joe Davis, the goalkeeper. Stoke has moved since the move from Truro. As you know, had another sticker. And, you know, I consider that, you know, he's one of the worst players that we have. In the save, don't think he's gonna do much at all. We move on to Brechen Evans, one of my friends, you know. Uh, 29 apps, five goals, you know, not bad for an attack in midfielder. Uh, pretty key play for Wales as well, actually. Uh, so yeah, I think he's pretty good in that sense. Move on to Robin, 42 point. Look at what a good move can do for you. I've had some bad moves. Okay, he played 34 games, he, you know. Didn't foul much, he got a good pass accuracy. So yeah, I hope he gets sort of noted for that. Uh, last two players of the episode. We've got me, of course. Play for less, I don't want to go too in depth on myself, really. That's a bit. I got named in the season our best 11 for Leicester, though. And for Wales, up front as well. Which means I must be doing something right. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad. Uh, that means I must be doing something right. Now I'm again, uh, Brechen Evans also in there with me. And I think Joe Davis was in there as well. Um, see, that's what I've done at Leicester. I've been a pretty successful player at Leicester. And a successful at um, sort of Welsh football level. To I, I was in the Leicester. I Leeds best I ever at Everton for a bit. Obviously I've been um, taken out now. Because I don't play for them anymore. Uh, and then we move on to our last player, and there's a very special thing coming up. But I'm going to start with the stats: 34 goals, three goal, uh, 34 apps, three goals, seven, and he's done nothing. He's done nothing. Does that matter? Well, you're about to find out. Let's go to his achievements. He was in the Denmark seasonal best eleven. If you've seen him already, I'm sorry for ruining the surprise. He was nominated for the Golden Bowl. He didn't get in the top three, but hey. He was nominated for it. Uh, none of us, none of us, uh, none of us have been there yet. So congratulations. So I'm gonna move to the underachiever the episode, and it's gonna be Heath. Three point one million, and to make one app in three years and concede three goals and play five point six and you know six point seven under twenty ones as well. And we've looked at this guy for a long time, and I'm I'm glad he supports the series. So I'm gonna give the player of the episode today to Morgan Kendall. The support has nothing to do with it. It's just he's a very good player. And I will see you next time.